Hi, Chris here with Handle It. I want to show you a full demonstration today of our mobile wrapper, model 3000. Very good for use within the warehouse if you want to wrap pallets anywhere throughout the warehouse. So rather than have your pallet wrapper in one place and you bring the pallets to it, you can easily take this machine to the pallet and it drives around it to wrap it. Also, it's very good for pallets that are very long. So let's say you have a 10, 12 foot pallet. Something that's very long, typically you can't put on a turntable machine. This will drive around the whole perimeter and wrap it. So we walk up to the machine, we want to turn it on. So power button is here. Just hold this about three seconds. And you'll hear a click and you know it's turning on. Usually give it about 20 seconds to boot up. Um, this is battery operated, so underneath this hood you do have the batteries and also the charger. Uh, right here you can see we have a safety bumper, this right here. If that ever gets hit, it'll shut the machine down. So that's to stop any, anybody from getting hurt if their foot or something gets in the way and it's coming around. You come around this way, you'll see we have a guide wheel right here. So when you get this machine, that's not going to be attached. You're basically going to get this. And you're going to want to put it on. So as you can see here, there's three bolts right here that were put in here to attach it. But also this wheel here, it is adjustable. And this is very important to know that it's adjustable. Because when you wrap your pallet, if this is too low or too high, it could get stuck inside your pallet. So you want to set it to the right height for the pallet that you're using. And you can adjust that by loosening these screws here and here, and then just adjusting up and down. Right here is your charging port. You can charge here. It tells you where the charge is at while you're charging. Typically, this machine will last uh, pretty much full eight hours of continuous use. But let's say you have a 24-hour shift and you're just using it, you know, a couple hours here and a couple hours there. It should last the whole 24-hour shift. But like I said, eight hours of continuous use would be its max. You really want to drain down the battery because they do have memory, and then charge it, charge it fully let it rest for a while before you use it again. If you have a very uh, heavy usage application or situation, you could either get multiple units or you could get extra batteries in a, in a, with a battery change out kit that we offer as well. So as we go over here, you can see the carriage. Film is right here. We just put that film on the spindle. And then as far as loading and unloading, this comes down. You can see the film goes through here, past these pre-stretch rollers, and then you close it up. And as you come around, which you'll notice right now, the machine, I have to hit reset, because if I just try to use this like this, and I go like that, the rollers aren't gonna go, it's gonna be too tight. So let me walk you over here and just show you how to reset. Notice it says request for a reset procedure. Hold this in for a couple seconds. Now it says machine in manual mode. That means that we're good to go. So now if I go back over here, you'll see it. I got to have it around this roller and around this roller. You hear that? Now it's allowing me to pull this down because these rollers are engaged. So I walk back over to this side. I want to bring this machine to the pallet. So, one pallet is safe, people leave it like this, and now when I go to use it, I can pull it here, but later on, if I leave it down like this, I'm going to get there. So, notice the uh, wheel right now. So, if I go like this, and I try to go like that, and I'm pushing this button, I'm pushing this arrow to go this way, this arrow for that way, if I do this, it's not going to work. It's going to push the pallet. So I'm going to push this area to go back around. This wheel needs to guide on the So I'm going to get around that first corner. And now, if I continue to do this, and I'm just showing you a manual mode, that wheel is going to guide all the way around. So I'm manually pushing this right now. But later on, we'll do it with a fully automatic setup. So notice when I come around this corner, if this wheel was too low, if I had to set down here, it would get stuck and it would hit that pallet right there. So right now we have it in a good position so you can see it's going to work fine for this pallet. So I'll bring it around here. Before I get to the controls, I want to point something out to you. This pallet, 
basically almost empty boxes. These are really light. So the total weight is now probably, I'd say 100 pounds. Um, so when I go to use the tension here, I'm gonna have the tension set pretty low. So if I have it too high, that film is just gonna pull a pallet around in circles. So you'll probably notice when I wrap this cycle that the pallet may move a little bit, but I've done it with 20% already and it, it will work. So um, before I get the controls, let me just tie this film off. So the film is gonna get tied off somewhere like here or here. I'm just gonna tie it back here. Or if these were heavier box, I could just put underneath the box. Tie that off so we're ready to go once I start it. So now we go to the controls. Um, this is the start button. Again, this is the reset. And then this is to turn the machine on. Emergency stop, just push that in. Make sure you pull it out before you're going to start again, otherwise it's not going to turn on. Power button is here, just hold that red button in. You can see we're at 46% battery life. It says machine in manual mode right now. That means we're good to go. And the program we're in is program number one. We can do up to 32 different programs in here. And the type of cycle is up, and then it's going to come back down. So if I go to the menu, a lot of these commands in here I'm not going to go through a lot because they're more in detail ones that you probably won't use, but you can always consult the manual if you want to see these other options. So like here, I'm not going to go through this stuff right now. These are different things you can do though, but it's usually not something that's necessary. I go back. Manual commands, if I wanted to raise this carriage up and down, if I hold that up and go up, down and go down. So I go down all the way, go back. I go here, this is just going to give me information on pallets that I'm wrapping. Um, if I go to machine data, ask for a passcode, it's 919. So it's 919, and enter right here, this arrow, click OK. All right, so if I go back to home, I go to cycle OV. Um, again, that's just more information on pallets. Really where you wanna, what you wanna see is, let's go back to home, programs. So if I go to general, it's talking about program number one. So it's saying I'm gonna do one bottom wrap, one top wrap. I left this at zero, this have to do with, has to do with top sheet. Uh, we're not going to do top sheet right now. And final bottom wraps is one. If I wanted to change these, I could change this to two, and then hit enter, so I change that to two. Um, now if I go back, I can go over to film tension. As I mentioned before, I have it 20% set all the way throughout. The nice thing about this is that you can actually set the tension different at different stages of the wrap cycle. So I could start it at 20 on the bottom, and then 20 as it goes up and then tighten it up more as it comes down. So let's say, for example, I had um, some boxes like this that were lighter and the pallet was a little bit heavier. I could start with a lower tension on the way back down, increase it to tighten up a little bit more. I'm gonna keep it how it is for now. Go back, photo cell, this is the photo eye. So right now, the photo eye is on. I could shut it off, if I did shut it off, what I have to do is say, hey, photo eye, I don't want you to work at all. But whenever this pallet is gets, whenever this gets up to, say, 50 centimeters, then I want you to know that that's the top of the pallet. Uh, the only really reason you would use that for is if the photo eye wasn't catching the certain, let's say there's a gap in the pallet or there's a, a flashy color or something that the photo eye is not catching. That's really the only reason you would use that for. So I'm gonna turn it back on. Delay photo cell pallet right there. I have it at three seconds. So it's saying once the photo eye sees at the top of the pallet, go up a little bit more, like three more seconds more, so that'll overwrap the pallet. I'm actually gonna put this up to five. So I get some really good overwrap. Five, enter. Um, go back. Let me go to speed. This is gonna be how fast this is gonna be running. So the traction speed, how fast it's gonna go around. I have it maxed out at 100%. Uh, the, the slow speed, that's when it gets towards the end. It's going to slow down to 60. The carriage, I have at 75% up speed and 80% down speed. If I go back, go to others. Um, this part is actually is really important. This talks about the perimeter of the pallet. So right now, this pallet here, it's 40 wide by 48 deep. 
So when I say, hey, wrap one time around on the bottom and once on the top, it needs to calculate where is that pallet, where am I on that pallet at that point. So you need to put the perimeter in here. So a 40 by 48 pallet, and this is in centimeters, we have this chart and this will be on the machine. So we have 48 long, 40 high, comes to a perimeter of 447 centimeters. So I have it set to 450. So if that pallet was twice as big and I had it 450, it really would be wrapping a lot less because it would think that it's going around the pallet when it's only halfway around the pallet. Also what you can do here, you can change the type of cycle. The most common is going up and going back down. You can do only up, you can only do only down. You can do a manual TSD as well, so that's manual top sheet. What the top sheet would be is, let's say that you, you like putting a top sheet on this while you're wrapping it. You could do the beginning of the cycle and when it gets to a certain height of the pallet, it'll stop. Then you put the top sheet on and then you hit start again and it'll continue the rest of the cycle and wrap that top sheet on you. So we're gonna stay just in up down. And very important what you wanna do when you're done making any changes, you wanna save and then upload. So now any changes I made have been saved in program number one. If I want to go to a different program, I could just do it right here. I go to program number five, enter. Notice program number five is a 400 centimeter perimeter. And I'm going to go back to number one and I'm going to hit enter. So now we should be good to go. So I'm going to go back to home. It says machine and manual mode. Now, I just want to show you, remember I mentioned this here? If I hit start, it's not going to go. The reason why I'm getting arm out of position, this is still down. It won't operate this is down. See, so put it back up. That hug, that's how it has to be when you're doing the automatic mode. So now I go up here, hit X, and then it says machine and alarm. So I need to reset. So hold it for three seconds. Now it says machine and manual mode, so that means I'm good to go. So now if I start it, this will go. So now we are going to start a second. watching that video you notice the pallet's good move a little bit. Again, it's a, it's a very light pallet. It's probably about 100 pounds. But it still is able to wrap the whole thing. So I do this here. I'm here to cut it off. You can tie it off or you can just do that. Depends how you want to do it. And now you're ready to go on to the next pallet. So I'll save this pallet somewhere else. 